Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi there. In this video, I want to go through the quality control checklist. My team and I at General Frog have a much longer and more exhaustive checklist for our internal processes, but I tried to put something together that would work really well for do-it-yourselfers. Something not intimidating, but really helpful just to make sure that you kind of knew where to look within your books to possibly find your mistakes. If you can find and correct your mistakes, that's going to be a huge time and money saver for you. The part of the checklist that I want to discuss in today's video is the banking section. So specifically, I'm asking you to review the unreconciled banking transactions for logic. In the earlier video, I talked about reconciling. If you haven't watched it yet, reconciling is just comparing your bank statement against your QuickBooks and identifying anything that's not shown up on your bank statement yet. When I talk about reviewing this for logic, I'm asking you to look at the things that don't show that they're reconciled and ask yourself, will this show up on a future statement? If it's a check you wrote, probably. If it's a trip to the gas station or hotel or travel or something like that, probably not. It's probably a duplicate. If it's a payment to your credit card, it might or it might be a duplicate that you accidentally entered twice. I really want you to look and just make sure, do I have anything here that doesn't make any sense? If you have anything that doesn't make any sense, even if it's not reconciled, it does impact or change your profit and loss or your balance sheet, depending on what it is. So let me show you how to do that. Left hand side, accounting chart of accounts. When you're at your chart of accounts, we'll just start with a checking account and we'll go to view register. Two things you can do. Um, the first one is you can click on the funnel in the upper left hand corner and you can say reconcile status, not reconciled and apply. And this will show you everything that is not reconciled, everything that has not shown up on a bank statement. The other thing you could do, and this is either or you don't have to do them both, is you can click on reconcile in the upper right hand corner. You could go get your next bank statement, but in theory, you're all caught up on your bank recs. So we'll just make up a number. We'll just say, oh, ending balance was a dollar. And what's my date? We'll just pick today's date and make believe land it's Halloween. In real life, it's snowing outside. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and click on start reconciling. What you're looking for is what things appear on this list. And the answer to this is, oh, there's that check to Robertson and Associates that appears on the list. If this was your business, you would look at that date and you would say, oh, I mailed it out two weeks ago. I'll give it another month for them to get it, take it to the bank, cash it. Or you might look at it and say, no, that's that's a mistake. I should delete it because it, it's not doing me any good. In fact, it's messing up my bank balance, right? Let me just close without savings. I don't need this. Let's go to the next part of the checklist. I'm asking you to review the open item in bank feeds. I don't know how to best describe it. When I say bank feeds, what I mean is the feed or the information that comes from your bank into QuickBooks that you have to do something with. There's two ways to get there, just like there's two ways to get everywhere. If you are on the dashboard and you click business overview, you can click on any of these on the right, or you can click on the word banking on the left. Doesn't matter which one you pick, they will both take you to this screen. I'm asking you to look at this screen and just take a look at the stuff that is pending and waiting for you to do something about it. And is there anything here that, you know, maybe it's from a while ago, you don't know what happened, but it sprung back and it's sitting here and it's, it's needing some help or some TLC. I've got other videos on what to do with this stuff, but I'll just tell you real quick, if you see something that shows up here that doesn't belong and you're like, if I add it to the register, I'll have to go delete it again. So this feels very goofy. The super secret way to get it to go away is to click the box on the left, click exclude. It goes into the, um, the little trash can in the sky. It goes over here to excluded. We didn't actually need to do that. I just wanted to show you. So a little bit of make believe land because I wouldn't exclude this, but I, I did want to explain to you what you could do. 
So the other thing is add missing payee names to all expenses. This is a big deal. Um, in real life, it's January. In real life for me, as I record this, I'm talking to friends and colleagues and clients about their 1099s. The way that you know who you've given money to is either you have an amazing memory or you have your QuickBooks organized really well. I wanna show you a way that you can pull up this report to identify, do I have any transactions where I spent money and I did not log the payee name, but I know I need to because that's the best practice. Let me just show you real quick. On the left-hand side, you'll go to reports. In the find my report name, I do this so often that QuickBooks knows, but I would type in the word vendor and then expenses by vendor summary will show up. From here, assuming you can get to this report, you would just click, you would find not specified on the very bottom. You would click whatever the number is. It brings up a list. You can change the dates if you need to. Let me just do that again, but do it slightly differently for people who do not have the version of QuickBooks that has this report. If you have the simple start version of QuickBooks, you will not have this report. You will have transaction list by vendor. Let's use that for your example. You go to transaction list by vendor and this goes on and you go to the bottom and there is no transaction pile. There's nothing that says not specified. That's okay. I got you. You click on customize in the upper right hand corner. You come down here to filter and then you find the name. Oh, vendor. Excuse me. Right now it says specified and you're like, no, no, no. The whole point of this is I want to know if I have any transactions where the vendor is not specified. Click run report. Now I've got a whole bunch of stuff where it's not specified. Some of this stuff, it wouldn't make sense. Like I wouldn't put a vendor on an invoice. An invoice is where I've asked for money. I wouldn't put a vendor on a time charge, right? So use this with a grain of salt. It is a workaround in case you're in a situation where you do want to know this information, but you don't have the version of QuickBooks to give you an easy report. One small thing before I let you go, because I have all kinds of one more tricks. If you click on the little sort in the upper left hand corner, you can say sort by, and then you can say transaction type and run report. And now you can be like, okay, I'm, I'm going to skip over the things that have something to do with my, my sales, my revenue, my accounts receivable. And I'm going to go down to any sort of expenses. Well, the only expense I have is this credit card expense. So I didn't prep my example. You get the idea though. This, although slightly longer than I intended, is your video just to kind of walk you through what I mean when I say, please quality control or double check yourself within the banking section of your QuickBooks. It's a little more than just banking, but it's me helping you just review your QuickBooks in a way that I'm hoping is helpful and not intimidating. If you have any questions, any concerns, or if you need help finding other videos, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. If this has been helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.